Hello friends. Today I am really excited to share some knowledge and an experiment which you can try and implement on your plants for growing your plants faster, healthier, stronger and better yielding. And I am sure you will be really shocked to see the results of this experiment at the end of the video. You can grow a large fruit tree in a small container using this method. I will also show you which containers to choose for this method and also how to make your own DIY pots and planters at home for this purpose. And all my videos are based on scientific research and are proven methods in gardening. All that's coming up. Well, we'll start with the term air pruning. You might have heard about air layering, water layering and root pruning. But what is air pruning? This is a pretty simple concept. I'll try to make it more simplified in this video but very quickly without boring you and shall explain you the scientific details. Please watch the entire video and we'll leave the complicated microscopic level explanations to the scientists and the PhDs. So the term air pruning is a growing technique wherein the dry air, mind you it's dry air not humid air. So air pruning is a growing technique wherein the dry air touches the tips of the growing roots and these growing root tips are burned by air and stop growing. But proximal to this, they start giving out multiple branches of fibrous roots, which are the most important roots for nutrient and water absorption. This process continues and there is abundant development of fibrous roots within the root ball. And for beginners, stack roots are for anchoring the plant to the soil and fibrous roots or the hairy roots are for nutrient and water absorption. Well, this air pruning is somewhat similar to the principle of pruning of branches. The same thing happens with the roots. If you cut the tips off, it stimulates lateral growth further up the root shaft, thus filling the space with lustrous, dense, fibrous roots. So now, before moving on to the experiment, I'll quickly show you something which clearly indicates the benefits of air pruning technique. You can see this root ball. This is an entangled form of roots growing within a bound container. Whether it's plastic or cement or clay pot, this is what happens as the plants and the roots continue to grow. There is no space for root development. The growing roots hit the rigid wall of the container and go around winding up and grow in the available space and get root bound. Yes, this is called root bounding. And this is the reason why we need to repot our plants into a larger size container once in a year or so. But if you apply the concept of air pruning, this does not happen in air pruning pots. So quickly the air pruning benefits, it will not only provide an enormous surface area to absorb those uh, soil nutrients but also helps in improving the drainage, increasing the amount of oxygen in the root zone and reducing the pooling of water which in turn reduces the risk of root rot. You will notice faster growth of plants, healthier plants and significantly increased yields. So now, how do I implement this in my containers at home gardening or container gardening level? Best is to start air pruning early. When a cutting or a seedling has just rooted, you can transplant it into air pruning pots. So what are these air pruning pots? Well, if you have understood the concept, these can be easily anything with good aeration at the lateral walls. Let's, let's learn something about these pots before we move on to the actual experiment. So now we we'll look into different ways to design your own DIY air pruning pots and planters. First example is you can drill multiple holes in a plastic container like at least about 4 holes per square inch all over the walls of the container. Now you have to find a way to prevent the potting medium and water from coming out of the container and also prevent too fast drying out of the soil but allow good aeration within the container. Best way is to place in a piece of thick fabric cloth or even weed block fabric or landscape fabric whatever you call it and then pour the potting mix into this. Here I am showing you a simple hack to use your old jeans for this purpose. You can cut it like this depending on the size of your container and optionally stitch or staple the bottom uh, like how I am showing you here to make it like a bag. You can also use any laundry or vegetable basket with uh, multiple holes in it or even a fabric shopping bag or whatever. Also you can use wooden or the bamboo basket for this purpose. You can even use these fabric grow bags which have a very good lateral aeration system 
and they're ideal for growing fruits and vegetables then you can use one of these DIY stuff or you can use what I'm using in the experiment that is I'm using cocoa coir pods they're just called cocoa pods so I'm using these cocoa pods for my experiment there is a lot to discuss about these cocoa pods which I think I'll be making a separate video on this uh, topic and discuss the benefits of these cocoa pods in that video well coming to the experiment what I did was about two months ago I transplanted a small tomato sapling into this cocoa coir pot use the same universal uh, regular soil mix what I use for my, most of my plants and then j uh, kept it aside and just watered it regularly this was growing really fast I have not done anything to this plant not even added any fertilizer but once in 15 days I sprayed neem oil soap solution to combat those uh, leaf miners you can check the present status of this plant it's really large for the size of the container the container is only about 10 inch diameter and about 10 inches depth and the tomato roots are supposed to be very strong and really they grow deeper I do not want to dig out and uh, show you at this moment because I don't feel like uh, taking it out and disturb the plants when this plant stops growing or uh, yielding I shall show you the root ball you can follow my Instagram page where I post most of my updates actually this was my first experience with air pruning and at present I personally feel we should use air pruning on every plant we grow in containers Try it yourself, you'll never be disappointed. We'll keep adding more plans to this technique and we'll share you the results in my coming videos or in, even at my Instagram page, including the DIY jeans air pruning pot we just made. So that you don't have to spend a lot of money on those costly high-tech air pruning pots available in the market. If there are so many pros on air pruning, there should be some disadvantages too. The only disadvantage I see is the plants dry out quicker than the conventional pots. So. Frequent watering or drip irrigation is recommended to combat this uh, issue.